everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about luxury, vintage, fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. And today I'm gonna to be talking about a few of my newest vintage Chanel purchases with you guys. So let's get right into it. Um, you've probably seen over on my Instagram, which if you don't follow me over there, you definitely should. I'll pop my handle on the screen and um, kind of show it on the screen here somewhere. Um, but I recently picked up this beautiful vintage Chanel hair clip. Um, I bought this from Rebag and it is so gorgeous. It's from the 98P collection and I have been wanting a Chanel hair clip for so long and I just haven't found like the right one. Um, either they have like a lot of damage to them or, um, like the size wasn't right. Like I just, I never found one that I was like, yes, oh my gosh, that's it. I need to have that one. And I saw this one and you know, usually I am such a gold person. Like I love like the vintage Chanel gold, um, 24 karat gold plated. Like that is my thing. You will see like, like these earrings, which I'll talk about in a little bit, but, um, I just felt like in a hair clip, especially cause it's kind of like a larger size. I felt like the silver was like a really beautiful kind of color. And I loved how it looked um, in my hair. I'll put some cutaways so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was like a little bit subtle and beautiful, but it's still obviously like very Chanel. I just feel like the gold was like a little too much like in my face, which I mean, I love that moment. I love a nineties Chanel moment, but I, yeah, I fell in love with this one. I don't know. I don't know what it was about it, but I loved the silver and two out of the three of my vintage Chanel belts are actually silver, not gold. Maybe I'll show those at the end of this video actually. Um, but I just felt like it would kind of go with that. I don't necessarily always go like Chanel bag, Chanel belt, Chanel hair clip, like Chanel earrings. Like I don't usually go like that much. I, I kind of like to pick and choose. So like if I'm going for like a bolder Chanel belt, I'll go with a more understated bag. Um, but I felt like having this like in the back with the, like a belt in the front, like I think that that's kind of like the perfect combo. So that was my thinking on why I went with the silver, kind of a long winded way. but. Yeah, I picked this up. It was um, around 300 ish dollars. I think it was listed in um, fair condition, which honestly, I don't, I kind of like buffed it up a little bit, but it's honestly in like really great condition. I mean, it's super lightly tarnished, like on the inner portions of where the Chanel is engraved, but otherwise I think it's actually in beautiful condition. You can see the back, it's just like a typical barrette um, hair clip and really sturdy, really well made. I just think that you can really feel the quality. I can always feel the quality in like vintage Chanel pieces, but it is like super well made. I just feel like, yeah, it's already lasted this long and it already feels like really secure. Um, I have no problem securing it in my hair. I do sometimes though, I'll put like bobby pins kind of like to pin it in place a little bit just to give a little bit more support in the hair. Um, I'm always scared it'll like fall out, but I haven't had any problems with that so far. So yeah, that's the first piece. And a second piece, if you've noticed these earrings, these beautiful, here, I'll take one off so you guys can see it up close. Beautiful vintage Chanel gold. I hope you can see that gold earrings. So these are in a diamond shape with the CC logo on the front. These are from the 95 P collection. And these are clip-ons. So I've always been kind of like hesitant to do clip-on earrings. Like, I don't know why. I just, I have a lot of piercings. So I have like three on the lobes on each side and then a couple others like varied in there. But I just felt like, I don't know, it would block a lot of my piercings or might irritate. Like, I just never knew. It just seemed like it'd be heavy. Um, and they are like a really nice weight, but I don't feel like these ones are like over the top too big, but they do give like a really nice kind of look, especially like when hair is up, I feel like these add something really nice to the look, but yeah. And here's what the clip on looks like in the back. Um, it has that little kind of cushion and these came perfectly like with the cushion still done. I don't know if someone has replaced these cushions over time. Like those are not obviously marked CC, but a lot of times you'll see with these earrings, 
um, that the cushion is like off or misplaced or broken or whatever, you can buy these things on Amazon, the replacement cushions, and it's really easy to just pop on yourself. And so don't let that deter you when you see a pair of earrings. Um, if that's broken, it's honestly like not a big deal just to replace the cushion. Now, if the actual like clip is broken, I mean, that's a whole nother thing, but this clip is secure and fine, no problems. And then you can see the, um, where it's engraved is right there in the back. And you can tell, I mean, I can tell when I feel the weight of like a vintage Chanel piece, you can just feel like the heaviness and chunkiness of vintage Chanel. And that goes for like the chains on the bags, the earrings, like the hair clip, like they're all a really, really good weight. So if you ever feel like something's like super light and it's supposed to be a vintage piece, it's probably not authentic. I mean, I can't hundred percent say that, but they're always like have a really nice weight to them. Um, and yeah, these were in like really, I think they were listed in really good condition. They were around $510, I think, which honestly for a vintage Chanel in like good condition piece, that's really not bad at all. And, um, these are from Rebag as well. I really like that Rebag has this like point system. So when you like buy things, you get points and you can redeem those points towards other purchases. And they also run promos all the time. I feel like they always have like hundred dollars off if it's like a $500 or more purchase or um yeah they run like different types of promos all the time 10% off this and that so um if I find any similar ones I actually was debating between a few pairs so I will link any of the available ones that I was really loving down in the description box below um let me go get my belts let me like add that into this because this was kind of like a short little Haul. But let me just add my belts just so you guys can kind of see my belt collection and um, yeah, give me one second. Um, so I'll quickly talk about my vintage Chanel belts, but I have like a dedicated uh, Chanel accessory video if you're interested in that. I will link that down below if you guys want to check that out. But let's go quickly and talk about my vintage Chanel belt. So this was the first one I bought. And actually I got this as an anniversary gift. Well, I picked it out, but an anniversary gift for my husband probably four or five years ago. It was a while. It was like before Chanel chain belts and like the vintage like 90 Chanel really came back. Um, and I just have always loved that era of Chanel, the 90s vintage Chanel supermodel era. It was like something I grew up around watching. Um, obviously could not be like affording that kind of stuff when I was younger. So when I was old enough to be able to like afford it on my own. I just love the vintage pieces. I mean, that goes for everything. But um, yeah, this one I picked up, I love the gold. Um, it was a really good deal. I forget how much it was, maybe three or four hundred dollars, which nowadays is crazy. These belts go for like at least a thousand and if not more. So it was a steal back in the day, but there is some tarnishing like in between and it was a little bit worse when I did get it, but I um, kind of buffed out some of the tarnishing, but it was otherwise in beautiful condition. This is from the 90s, I think early 90s. And yeah, there's a bunch of different versions of this kind, but um, I love it. This one's so pretty. So that was my first one, like very classic. And then the next one I added, again, was for another anniversary actually. Um, I My husband knows me well by the, by the years. Um, so this one he actually surprised me with. This is from Luxury Promise. And I had just bought a Chanel bag, my train bag. And I was like, okay, I can't be buying anything else. And this one came across. And again, it was like a pretty good price. I felt like at the time, I can't remember because it, it was a gift. I didn't buy it. I don't remember the price, um, but it wasn't too, too bad. And it was one that I've like always loved the style. I just think it's so beautiful and fun and different. I love the CC with like the little dangling ones. And so this is silver obviously with the black CC enamel painted. Um, and it's so fun. I also love wearing this one as a necklace. I think it is so nice. You just like, obviously not like this. I mean, you could wear it like this actually. That's kind of cool. I've never actually done that, but I actually really love that. But yeah, I usually like double it up, do like a choker style and style it like that. So yeah, that's my, that was my second one. I got that one a couple years ago. And then my last one is silver, but it has the beige leather. It's a doubled up version. Here, let me 
on here. And it has the dangly little CC right here. And this one I actually got a really good deal on from Old Soul Vintage Jewelry. That is actually from her personal collection. I think it actually had, the original version had a bunch of like chains and things and like dangly things on it. And she probably ended up like repurposing those ones. Um, it was probably missing some in the first place. So now this is just the belt version without those extra dangly pieces. And I actually like it that way better. I just feel like nice and simple. It looks really beautiful, like up high on the waist and adjustable. That's my favorite thing about these belts. They're so adjustable. You can like hook them on any portion of the belt and kind of like wear it wherever, which I love that. So that is my last one. If I can find any similar belts, I will link them down in the description box for you guys as well. If you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments. I will be sure to respond and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, comment, and please subscribe if you're not already. And until next time, take care. Bye.